Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today is Monday, April the 15th, tax day. It's about 10 minutes, uh, almost 10 minutes of 6 a.m. Pacific time. So the market, uh, cash market will open in a little more than 30 minutes. And what I'd like to go over is a trade I put on Friday in the SPOOs. Uh, you'll see here, it's a condor. It's referred to as an unbalanced condor. And I didn't get into the hype or the fear, so to speak, that was floating around the markets on Friday. Uh, I just wasn't buying any of it. It seemed, I don't want to say um, manufactured, but anyway, I was not buying into it. So I decided to put on a position to the long side of the market, and this was done just after the close on Friday, so um, at 1 p.m. And keep in mind that the one DTE trades in the spoos, they continue trading for 15 minutes after the cash closes, so I still had time to place the trade, which I did. Anyway, getting into the specific prices here, what I bought to start the trade was um, a 5145 call, long that one. Uh, expiration is today on all these, by the way. Sold the 50, and then on the um, farther out of the money, I did two times the purchase of the call spread. So I sold two 5180s and I bought two 5185s. And the total price on the package was for a debit of $30, uh, 30 cents on this trade times 100, the, the multiplier, 30 bucks. So let's take a quick peek at what this looks like on the analysis tab. And in current position, um, as you can see, I have a profit tent between 51.50 and 80. Here's the cost of the trade, 30. And I have risk to the upside. Um, and that is somewhat of a concern at this point because the market, uh, the E-minis are trading 40 higher right now, which I doubt anyone, well, not a lot of people were expecting a rally over the weekend. Uh, I did position for position myself for one, and I'm not trying to say that I'm a good prognosticator. Is, but as I mentioned earlier, I just wasn't buying all the bad news that was floating around on Friday. All right, so this is a 30-minute um, bar chart here, and we noticed that the market has slowly drifted higher in overnight trade, and over the last uh, half hour, it's had a little more of a spike. And it's not too far off the highs. Uh, the high right, the current high is 52.12, and we're about five handles away from that. So anyway, one of the things I wanted to do to work this trade was I was well, I was hoping for a bit of a rally, but not quite this much. Not necessarily a problem. Uh, how I'm going to handle this is one of the things I did. I was setting up some possible scenarios over the weekend, and here is the construction of the original trade with the prices paid. Note that the debit is $30, um, as I previously mentioned, and here's a, a similar look to the previous uh, graph of the profit tent of the initial setup. So down at 51.50 is where I start to make money, and the tent, the profit tent right now, uh, currently goes to 80 uh, and a stretch more. Here's all the downside. So as I was toying around with possible exits and adjustments, I have a plethora of them here and I was working through dis different scenarios based on uh, simulated price movements and I'm going to try to convert the current setup into something like this. So I'll have a condor on the lower end and I'll have a butterfly near the 80 strike with a guaranteed profit across the board. Uh, for the time being, this is not possible because of the rally. However, uh, let's take a look at something that I might be able to do. All right, so uh, the market isn't open yet, so these are all uh, hypothetical prices. 
let's say that as an adjustment to this trade, I'm going to sell the long spread, which is currently about a 70 delta. So I'll get a decent price for that. Right now, uh, it's about 330, and that's uh, 330, 340. Brings in a credit, and if I butterfly off the short verticals, I will, if I do only one here, then that would bring in a, pro, a credit of a buck 35, and if we look at the analysis tab, that will, it will look like the following. So I got a bit of uh, garble here with the with call identifiers. But anyway, um, I would have in a profit below 80 of uh, about $100, $105, depending on the price I get. And I'll still have risk to the upside. And that is because I'll have a short call spread that's still live. Um, if I go back and make an additional adjustment and butterflied off the entire short call spreads, I would end up paying uh, somewhere between 50 and 80, which I'm not thrilled about because then I have a very small uh, window of profits and it's basically centered around the, the 50 strike and the 80 strike. So I'm going to have two butterflies that will be live if I paid if I did this, but that's not that's not of interest to me because I have uh, too much of a range. There's way too much of a range where I'm basically guaranteed to lose some money, which is not what I want to do. So for now, because of the rally, I'm probably not going to do that. Um, if anything, I would make this a one lot. If I even if I even uh, bothered uh, to do anything early with this. So, what would help um, is let's say let's say the market has a pullback, and well, we have a half hour before the open. So let's say that. The market does open around these current prices. Um, fair value is going to be somewhere in the low 40s. Let me take a look. So fair value is 42. That means that based on the price of the minis, um, which are currently trading at 09, so I would I'm looking at about a 67, 51, 67, 68 um, off of the current prices. For as an open for the spoos, so I would be okay turning this long call spread into a butterfly, or I can even turn it into a condor. And what I'd be looking for after that or subsequent to that is a pullback in the market. Now, I, at this point, I have no idea whether or not this is going to be a, a big trend day up, but. Currently, the market's already up um, eight tenths of a percent, so it's possible that it might turn out that way. We have a trend day to the upside. I, uh, at this point, I don't know, but what I'm looking for is a pullback. And if I'm able to get this trade off at this price of somewhere around three dollars, that would be great. And then, if there were a pullback in the market, I would have two things working for me: a um, the directional move to the downside would be very, very helpful for this end of the trade. That's the first thing that would be working for me. And the second thing that would be working for me would be time decay. As the clock starts to run out on the day, um, and if the market goes down or goes down and kind of stalls or stalls, then um, these prices will get crushed and this trade, this end of the trade will become very, very profitable. And then I can either butterfly it off and that would be, uh, I'll do two of them, or I can possibly set up a condor on this end and I would be able to do the whole thing for a decent credit so that I would be guaranteed 
um, a profit no matter what happens. And then I would still have two condors or I'd have uh, two butterflies or I'd have uh, some some hybrid where I'd have a combination of a butterfly and a condor. So we will see. Uh, we have about uh, just a little less than 30 minutes before the open. So we'll see what happens um, in the next, let's say, probably hour, hour and a half. All right. Thanks for tuning in. I hope that was helpful. Catch you guys later. Oh, my God.